Hello there, today I have a LEGO Transformers G1 Sunstreaker, so here he is in his robot mode, robot mode, something's off today, <laughs> anyway, this is his vehicle mode, his uh, yellow Lamborghini mode of sorts, which is supposed to be maybe the same or similar vehicle mode to Sideswipe, another thing like Sideswipe is that he has a gap in the back, um, I just couldn't figure out a way to fill this out without uh, causing any kibble in robot mode and this is honestly the most efficient way for both modes for it to work out and there are no weapons to put here to fill it out with like some sort of weapon storage so it is kind of unsightly but you know most of the time you're going to be looking at it from angles like this and this and stuff so honestly it doesn't bother me also, another uh, something that's accurate with this and not a uh, side swipe, I believe, the hood actually angles down a little bit, which is pretty cool. And uh, here's the underside, just for a look. Um, these uh, red lights are here because I um, couldn't find any uh, yellow tiles like these to put here. I guess I didn't have any more, so I kind of just put red tiles there, and you needed a little bit of red on the design anyway. Uh, but yeah, it has another rolling robot mode, and it also fills out the vehicle mode here. So yeah, also you might see a lot of mismatched colors too, like this kind of beige and then gold and then like orange, light, dark, yellow, whatever. Basically, um, I don't have a lot of yellow, so yeah. Let's just get on to the comparisons. Usually I'd show off uh, my Lego builds with uh, everything else at the same time, but here I want to highlight how similar these vehicle modes are since that's kind of the point of these guys. So, here they are from a top-down view. As you can see, the wheels and the wind uh, the windshield and the, um, and the, you know, the roof and the headlights, they're all almost in, like, the same place, which is pretty good because these are supposed to be uh, similar cars. Also, yes, I uh, he was supposed to be red alert, but I decided... I can make sideswipe, and he's supposed to go with sideswipe. So, I decided to show you guys Sunstreaker with sideswipe. And here's what I mean with the gap in the back. Uh, obviously, it's worse on Sunstreaker, but uh, it's still there. Um, the spoiler on uh, this guy, Sunstreaker is also higher because uh, my excuse is because it's modified with this piece. I don't know what it does. It doesn't come off for transformation. It stays on there. And, um, yeah, honestly, it turned out pretty well. Um, I can't say which vehicle mode I like better, but, uh, I do like the colors of Sideswipe better. I have to say that. Now here he is with Lego stuff, and Hound is finally dead. Hasbro stuff. Vehicle mode's about nine and a half studs long, and about five studs tall. Now for the transformation, which is, uh, bearable. Um... First thing you're going to do is just put the front just like Sideswipe. And just like Sideswipe, surprisingly, the feet uh, are, you know, in the front of the vehicle. Um, here, you're just going to move this down and then move this piece up. So that kind of creates his leg. And then we're going to move the, the knee to the middle just like usual. Move the swivel the wheel down like that. Same thing on the other side. Next thing you're going to do, just move those legs right back there. And then you're just going to move these wheels right out of the way. Sorry for having that off screen for a second. Um, and then just move these to the side like so. And uh, you're just going to swivel these shoulders. Yeah, these are the shoulders, obviously. Um... Yeah, the arms are probably the most fragile part of the build, just like Sideswipe. Actually, was it just like Sideswipe? I don't know, but yeah, yeah, these things really like to fall off more than usual, actually. So yeah, just move his arms out like that. And also do that uh, bicep swivel right there. Next thing you're going to do, oh, uh, wow, that just fell off. Uh, you're going to angle the windshield, not the windshield, the spoiler like that. Uh, move it down like this a little bit. That gives you enough clearance to move his head out like so. And then just continue 
moving that down. Actually, you can't continue moving that down. Just leave his head like that, right there. Uh, forgot you had to move his waist, so you're going to move the legs out like so. Then on the hinge piece right there, just do that. Get his legs. Yep, his arm's falling off again. Yep, all these things flying everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, so you do that, and then on this swivel piece, like that. And it does that. Uh, pretty simple mechanism. And then you just swivel his legs back around. And then on his waist, you just push these robot hands in. And yeah, those are his legs done. And uh, let's go back here now with the new clearance. Now you can move these pieces down and just get these spoiler pieces to fill up that gap right there. Just like so. And then with uh, with his head sticking out like this, like he's a Quintesson from Transformers 1. You're going to move it up at an angle like this, swivel all the way around on that ball joint, then just push it back into place, like so, and that is his head in place, and I need to move the camera. So yeah, like I just said, that's his head in place. You're going to reattach shoulder like that, because it keeps popping off. And these smokestack pieces, whatever these things are supposed to be. You just swivel them to the side like that. Just a neat little extra transformation step. And uh, adds more differentiation from robot mode to vehicle mode. And then finally, swivel his arm like that. And then move his shoulder down. Same thing on the other side. And now, here is Sunstreaker in his robot mode. And I think I did a pretty good job, at least design-wise. Of course, all the colors and design cues aren't all there. Like, he has these giant shoulder things, like Ultra Magnus in yellow. Um, as you saw, it didn't have any room in a vehicle mode. And, um, you know, actually, the, I think about it. Um, I did try to engineer them to fill out the back, but it just, uh, it, the results were just really bad. And it just ended up looking either too big on his shoulders or it just looked horrible on the back. So, yeah. Uh, head uh, inspired by Sea Bunny. Um, not much you can do at this scale. Most of my stuff's gonna look like Sea Bunny's heads at this scale. So yeah. Uh, what else? Crotch is supposed to be yellow. Um, only have one of these pieces in yellow. Not sure where the other one is, or if I have another one. Um, a lot of these things are supposed to be yellow. But like I said, I don't have a lot of yellow pieces. And this back here, uh, I mentioned it in vehicle mode. It's supposed to be uh, uh, the rear of the vehicle mode. So it's not in the back, but it's underneath the vehicle. So anyways, let's do some articulation. Head moves all the way around, but I don't want to dislocate the ball joint. Uh, universal shoulders, you know I'm not going to mess with those. You already saw how messy they are. Um, butterfly joint? Slight butterfly joint. Um, do the transformation, uh, focus, um, elbow bend, 90 degrees, backward, forward, all the way, and do the transformation, bicep swivel, and this thing just keeps popping off, uh, that's a first, let's see here, waist, um, Kinda has this like a uh, waist movement thing where you can do this because of the hinge back there and this will do the transformation. So it kind of looks like his chest is on a ball joint, even though that's a lie. Um, you could use it for articulation though. It could work pretty well. I mean, you can get him looking up and stuff. Um, looks ugly though. So just keep it like that. Um, legs. I'm not gonna use that one. That one is really tight. Uh, this one. Uh, works. I mean, the other one works too, but this one works better. Leg kicks forward that far. It's at a slight angle because it collides with that piece right there. Um, move arm out the way, and he kicks out that far. Uh, I already did that. 
Uh, doesn't move back too far. Accurate to human anatomy. That's my excuse. I just needed to fill out the vehicle mode. That's why that's there. Um, oh yeah, knee bend. 90 degrees, backward, forward. Does all that. Uh, thigh swivel, obviously. It's just all right there. Not due to transformation. Is there anything I missed at the waist? I don't think so. Uh, foot pivots down, up. And it does the ankle rocker. Uh, just like that. Very useful ankle rocker. Uh, surprised they even got an ankle rocker. Um, yep, there he goes. Like I was saying, I'm surprised they even got an ankle rocker in there. Here he is all weaponized up because that's fun. Hasbro stuff. He is basically ten and a half studs tall. And Lego stuff. I tried my best to make them the same height, but whatever. Uh, focus. Whatever I tried, um, Sunstreaker was either too short or too tall. So I decided to go with shorter since, um, I don't know, side swipes better.